Hi, my name is Alyssa Schultz, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the bluefin tuna fishery in Atlantic Canada. The bluefin tuna, or Thunnestinus, is the largest member of the macro-like fishes in the family Scombridae. The maximum length on record of a male bluefin tuna was 458 centimeters. That is approximately 4.5 meters. The maximum weight on record of a bluefin is 684 kilograms. Bluefin tuna are a tropical fish, but they do move northward into Canadian waters in the summer months to feed. Those entering Canadian waters are labeled into two categories, giants and jumpers. Giants arrive in June and stay until October or later. They weigh on average over 136 kilograms. Jumpers arrive in late August and only stay until October. They weigh between 22.7 and 68 kilograms. Bluefin tuna are top predators, and they are amazingly involved for speed and endurance. Their bodies are streamlined, and they can even retract their dorsal and pectoral fins into grooves to increase their speed. The top speed of a bluefin tuna is 43 miles per hour, which is about 70 kilometers an hour. As predatory fish, the bluefin tuna are colored for camouflage. They are a metallic blue on their dorsal surface and a shimmering silver white on their ventral surface. One interesting thing about the bluefin tuna is they maintain a countercurrent heat exchange system, which allows them to maintain muscle temperatures 10 to 15 degrees Celsius above the temperature of the surrounding water. Being able to raise their body temperature allows them to comfortably enter the North Atlantic and to take advantage of the abundance of food available. Until recently, it was thought that the bluefin tuna only occupy the surface and subsurface waters of the coastal and open seas. However, through archival tagging, which is the attachment of a small tag containing a tiny computer to store information as well as ultrasonic telemetry technology, it has been found that bluefin tuna frequently dive to depths of 500 to 1,000 meters in search of food. Also, the bluefin tuna is a highly migratory species, which appears to display homing behavior and spawning site fidelity in both the Mediterranean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. The bluefin tuna has been a sought-after source of food for man for over 200 years, especially in the Mediterranean. But, they are a seriously threatened species due to heavy exploitation, the unknown nature of their population structure, and their highly migratory behavior. Because of this, the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, or the ICCAT, was formed in 1969, and it is made up of 47 members from around the world. The ICCAT is responsible for setting quotas for bluefin tuna catches, as well as 29 other tuna-like species, such as swordfish. Because of their size, speed, and strength, the bluefin tuna became known in eastern Canada primarily as a game or sporting fish. The Atlantic bluefin tuna fishery is conducted in Canadian waters over the Scotian Shelf, the Gulf of St. Lawrence, the Bay of Fundy, and off the coast of Newfoundland. The fishing season, due to their migratory patterns, takes place between July and November when they enter into Canadian waters. The method used in the Canadian bluefin tuna fishery is a rod and reel or tendered line technique, and each boat is only allowed to have at most four lines on board with one hook per line. The bluefin tuna fishery is one of the most lucrative and wealthy in the world. Today, it is estimated to be worth more than $10 million annually. One of the highest prices paid for bluefin tuna was paid in Tokyo between two sushi bar owners. Combined, they paid more than $100,000 for the bluefin tuna. The fish weighed 282 pounds, and so that means they paid approximately $370 per pound. The total allowable catch for the Western Atlantic peaked at 20,000 tons in 1964. Afterwards, the total allowable catch for bluefin tunas declined. On average, 5,000 tons were caught in the Western Atlantic in the 1970s. However, due to overfishing and declining stocks, the total allowable catch for Canada in 2009 was only approximately 505 tonnes. The amount of bluefin tunas allowed to be caught by each Canadian fleet is determined by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, or DFO, and is based on the average historical landings. In 2009, Newfoundland was given 12.84% or 61.2 tonnes of the 2009 quota, whereas cumulatively, the fleets off Nova Scotia were given 44.24% or 
or 208 tons of the 2009 quota. Because the bluefin tuna is endangered, the Canadian fishery is very tightly regulated. Limited entry into the fishery, restriction on the type and amount of gear used, the size of the tuna allowed to be caught, as well as the available fishing areas allotted, are all common practices. Harvesters also have to complete fishing logbooks of all their activities and tag and weight each tuna as it is caught. Harvesters are also monitored both at sea and by aerial portals and at boat patrols. Dockside monitoring is also required for all landings of bluefin tuna. So there you have it folks, a brief overview of the western bluefin tuna fishery. That's it for now.